Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to increase the dynamic range of a flat looking photo. I think this photo will work perfect for our example. As you can tell, it's shot on a bright sunny day, and the lens was towards the sun. And as you can tell, we have a little bit of a lens flare here. Now, this lens flare has also created a bit of a haze across the image, and this has definitely reduced the, the contrast as well as the density of the image. While in a lot of cases this is a desired effect, I would like to see this image just a little bit punchier and would like to add a little bit more contrast to it to make it look a little bit more bold. So I'm going to show you a couple moves that we can do to make this happen. The first thing that we need to do is make a copy of our background and I'm just going to grab the layer and I'm just going to drag it to the new layer icon and that's going to create a copy of our background. Now we do this so that we can have a little bit more control over that layer as well as if we do make any mistakes, it's really easy just to go back to the original file. So once we've made our copy, I'm going to go up into our blending modes and I'm going to choose multiply. As you can see, this made a, a big difference right off the bat. And what multiply does do is it increases the darks, it makes them darker, but it leaves your lighter areas light. So as we can see, that's exactly what's happened here. Our light areas in the sky have definitely retained their values, but we've definitely gained a lot more density and darkness in our shadows. I'm just going to zoom in at 100%, and you can see, just clicking on the preview icon here, before and after. Like I said, that's made a, a big difference right off the bat, but one thing I would like to do is maybe back off the effect a little bit. I do think that it has uh, darkened his face a little bit too much, and I would like to see it a little bit lighter. So um, again, this, this is why we do create a, a background copy layer. It just gives us that kind of control. So I'm just going to go up here into the opa uh, opacity, and I'm just going to back it off a little bit. I've taken it down to 60%, and uh, just clicking on the preview icon again before and after. I think that looks good. Uh, his face definitely has a, a lot more detail in it and it doesn't look so heavy. But I would like to see a little bit more contrast in the photo. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add an adjustment layer. I'm just going to choose one down here and I'm going to select my curves. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of contrast from the an area of the shadows to maybe a midtone in his skin. So I'm going to use my sampler here, my eyedropper tool, to command click into one of the shadows if you're using an Apple, or control click into the shadow if you're using a PC. As you can see, that's just put a, a node onto our, our curves layer here. So I'm just going to increase the density there a little bit. And I'm going to command click again into the, the skin or my midtone, or control click on a PC. And as you can see that, again, that's put, placed another node. And this time I'm just going to uh, bring it over just to lighten it a little bit more. I think that looks good. So I'm just going to preview our curves. So this was how it looked before and after. That's definitely increased the contrast a lot more. And I think that looks really good. So I'm just going to zoom out so that we can see this at a full frame. And now I'm going to show you the file, how it looked previous. And then after we've added the multiply blending mode and our curves layer. I think that looks really good. It's definitely made the image look a lot punchier. And I think that the dynamic range has definitely been improved in the image. The last thing that we need to do is go down to the layers drop down menu and choose flatten image. This will flatten the working layers that we had into a single layer. This file is now ready to save. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.